National Geographic Kids Sea Otters by Jill Esbaum. Hello, sea otters. These floody floaters rock and roll with the never ending waves, splish, splash, sploosh. A group of sea otters is called a raft. Playful sea otters spin and twirl and romp together. They chase, they dive, they pop up surprise. One slips under, swimming down, down, down to search the ocean floor for abalone and clams. An abalone is a type of big sea snail. To open a stubborn shell, the otter puts a rock on her chest. She whacks the shell against it until, ta-da! Clam shell. Rub a dub scrub. After her meal, the sea otter washes her face and neck. Each day, sea otters spend several hours grooming themselves. A clean coat is important. Using her teeth and claws, she combs her coat until every inch is smooth and shiny. Snuggle. A pup rides his mother's chest, cuddling close, comfy, cozy. The mother otter nurses her baby, then grooms and fluffs his thick hair. Baby sea otter fur. The pup was born in the water, but he cannot swim, not yet. Still, he's safe. The air trapped inside his fluffy, puffy coat keeps him afloat. A pup's air-filled fluff makes going underwater impossible, even if it wanted to. Before the mother otter dives for food, she wraps her pup in kelp to keep him from drifting away. When she disappears, the pup worries and whines, eek, eek, eek. He can only wait, bobbing like a fuzzy cork. Near the seafloor, the mother weaves through swaying stalks of kelp on the lookout for an urchin, sea urchin. Back on the surface, she crunches it with her sharp teeth. Yum! A few months later, a sleek fur coat has replaced the pup's fluff. He has learned to swim and hunt, to dive and play, and to groom himself. Ride on sea otter, rock and roll with the never-ending waves, splish, splash, sploosh. Look at me, I'm waterproof. A sea otter's thick fur grows in two layers. The under fur next to its skin is soft and fluffy. Over that are long guard hairs that act like a raincoat. As long as an otter's fur is clean, water has a hard time getting through. Is your hair long or short? Do you fluff your hair after it's washed? After grooming, a sea otter rolls in the water, using its paws to fluff air back into its coat. Your head holds about 100,000 hairs. A sea otter's coat has as many as a million hairs in every square inch. Perfect Paradise The cold waters of the Pacific Ocean's northern coastlines make perfect homes for sea otters. Here's why. They're shallow. It's only a short dive to the seafloor where sea otters find their food. 2. Land is only a short swim away. Even though they spend most of their lives in the water, some sea otters like to come onto the beach to rest or sleep. Three. Kelp forests grow here. Sea otters wrap themselves in kelp so they won't float away while sleeping. Kelp forests are another place to find food too. Kelp. Do you live near water? Would you rather swim in cold water or warm water? Can you float on your back like a sea otter? Seafood snack bar. Clams, crab, octopus, sea urchin, abalone, kelp. What are some of your favorite foods? Have you tasted crabs or clams? Sea otters like to eat the meat inside abalone, crabs, clams, mussels, and snails. They also like soft creatures such as squid and octopus. Sea otters even help keep kelp forests healthy. How? 
by eating the sea urchins that eat and destroy the bottom of kelp stalks. Home of the sea otter Sea otters live in parts of the North Pacific Ocean. Shaded in orange is where sea otters live. Sea otter search With your finger, help the baby sea otter find its mother. Say the names of the other things the baby otter sees along the way. The end.